Well, welcome back to Bourbon Hunt. Today we're in uh, basically the Alpharetta area, and we're at McFarland 400 Wine and Spirits. So let's go inside and see what new bourbons and whiskeys they have. So right off the bat, we find something we've been looking for. A friend, of, of actually a channel member, had told us about this double oak bourbon, and we got a, a bottle from him, and we sampled it, and we thought it was wonderful. And uh, this double oak bourbon from Pursuit United is now at McFarland 400. So what else they have here? Single barrel. Oh, one of my favorites here. The Redwood Empire Screaming Titan Weeded Bourbon, and that is an excellent price. I think the when I first bought it, I think I paid closer to $99 than $79. So that is a good price. Now, I've heard good things about this 10-year, I've not tried it yet. And look at this, Woodenville, aged eight years. I've not seen that one, so that is definitely new. Can't go wrong with the Bardstown and look at the price. 48 bucks. Here's your Woodford Batch Proof. And look, Double Oak Peerless. Big fan of that. In fact, I've got backups of that. So when you come in, look to your right first. This is their new arrivals. You always want to check them out before you go down the aisle. And we're going down the aisle. And if you've not been to uh, McFarland 400 here. So when you come in, the bourbon and whiskeys are right on your right. And they got a large selection and they've got some end caps and some barrel tops. And then of course, right here is where you'll find their store picks. But let's go see what we can find new that uh, may not have been here the last time we were here. Okay, starting down the bourbon wall here. We've got, uh, oh look at that, the Peerless High Rye. I've not seen that anywhere. Got our Sinatra up there. Oh, and that's a good price on the Sinatra if you're looking for it. Horse Soldier. And this Dexter. Uh, straight bourbon whiskey finished in 200 year oak, maple wood, and cherry wood. And for the money, this is an excellent bourbon. If you've not tried it, I totally recommend it. We got some whistle pig and mictors on the top. Let's see, looking for new, 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 new. Here's our Pursuit United. There's the double oak again. $69.99. That is such an excellent deal for what you get. And the other one that I like is this, I think it's this one here, yeah. Uh, straight bourbon, blended straight bourbon whiskey finished in toasted American oak and French oak. This is delicious. Oh, look, 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 look. Dominic's cast strength. I have been looking for this one. This is a Tennessee whiskey. 52% uh, corn, 44% rye, kind of high rye, 4% malted barley. Now, this isn't a store pick, but this cast strength is one of the ones I've been looking for, and it's only $49.99. may have to pick that up before we go. Oh, and by the way, if you uh, uh, don't uh, leave the uh, channel early, because at the end of this, we're going to have a tasting with Pursuit United. They're, uh, they're scheduled to be in here this morning. And that's one of the reasons we're here. To Oh, look at that. Look at that. Batch 36. I've seen that like one other place. I've not tried it. I'm going to. I've been a big fan of 34 and 35. There's already one. Oh, look at that, 59 and $69. Dollars. You just can't go wrong with the RD1. I know I go on and on about the RD1. Kind of like I go on and on about the Ben Holiday. It's just, just 
these are such great bourbon companies, whiskey companies, and they get overlooked for the high price stuff. What else have we got new down here? Basil Hayden Subtle Smoke. Now, I would love to know more about that. And if you've got a sample you want to send me, I'm kind of, you know, Basil Hayden in my world's not had a great name for itself. But that just, I don't know, something about that. I'd like to try that. And here we go. Uh, they got a French Oak 2XO for $45. You know, I thought I bought a bottle of that, but I looked for it the other day. I <laughs> can't find it. What else new do we see here? This is kind of an odd time of year because the limited releases are getting ready to come out. So you don't see a lot of other stuff. So finding new is kind of hit and miss. It's more like, is it new to your bottle shop? Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Is it new to McFarland 400? There's another Halloween one. I've been seeing, uh, I don't know, uh, they got a couple designs for Halloween. Penelope. They're toasted rye. And don't forget to pick up a Rebel Small Batch Reserve while you're here for $30. I picked one up the other day. When I get through with it, or mostly through with it, I'm coming back to get another. Well, here, I, I thought this was an in Georgia. I now stand corrected. Here is the Duke, the Founders Reserve. Nelson Brothers, Castle and Key. Now, um, I thought I saw a new Castle Key weeded, and maybe it was like an eight year. I saw a picture of it the other day. I'm interested in that one over the, uh, the standard weeded. So let's look, go to the end caps here, see what they got. We've got a high west end cap. Wow, blade and bow. Must have been popular because they only got one of them left for $49. Go to our Fiddler end cap. Georgia Hartwood, Four Roses. Oh, look at that. There's that double oak. This one's probably going home with me, but I want to taste it again and make sure there isn't a, a pursuit that I like better. But uh, this is wonderful. And it, to me, it competes against uh, a lot of the double oaks out there. Uh, actually, it's, it's pretty competitive against the uh, more expensive Peerless double oak. I'm not saying it's the same flavor, it isn't. But it, uh, it is another good double oak. Buffalo Trace Traveler. I told you they would uh, end up discounting it. $34.99. If you like it, it's not a bad whiskey, but it is a whiskey. It's a blend of Canadian whiskey and I believe uh, Buffalo Trace bourbon. But it's not bad. For the price, it's actually pretty good. You know football season's here. Look at all that. Coming around, we've got our bullet end cap here. Our mictors. And now we're back up to the store picks. Starting with our old soul, $72.99. Uh, we got a Starlight, uh, which one is this? Calvados Barrels? Uh, I'm guessing some kind of uh, tequila finish maybe? We'll check on that. They got an old Scout store pick. Whistle Pig Piggyback store pick. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a Piggyback store pick. This is their rye. Of course, their Jack Daniels single barrel, $49. You can't go wrong. Jack Daniels single barrel select, whether you go for the barrel proof or the standard proof, they're both excellent. 
Look, McFarland has a uh, Legends single barrel. I don't know that I've seen a Legends single barrel before. Founders, big fan of the Founders. I like their, I don't know which one this is. My favorite is the Weeded. This is not the Weeded. This is 60% corn, 36% rye, 4% malted barley. The Weeded I'm a big fan of. And look, we got some short barrel single barrels. Oh man, that's 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 tempting. I love the short barrel. Oh, this is their rye whiskey. But let's go over here. We go straight bourbon whiskey selected by. I actually tasted this. They had a tasting with a short barrel uh, next door, and we got the tasties. I got to taste this and the toasted and rye and a few other ones. Everything Short Barrel does is good. I just, there's nothing I dislike. I have my favorites, but there's nothing I dislike in Short Barrel. Nothing. It's kind of like Fiddler, right? I like most of what Fiddler does. Coming around here, we got some Knob Creek Single Barrels, Puncher's Chance, and Woodford Reserve. Like I said, if you've not been here before, they've got a great whiskey wall they have a lot of store pick selections and always check out that what's new cart right as you walk in the door so uh, next up we're going to interview Pursuit United and see what new things they have okay we're at uh, McFarland 400 and Pursuit United is here in fact one of the brand ambassadors has laid out some uh, some rye whiskeys and bourbons for us to taste and you know i don't think i've ever really tried uh their uh their current rise it's been a while since i've tried anything on a table like this from pursuit united so this is this is great so we're going to start off with their uh their flagship rye this is their black label and we're going to see if we like this one cheers That's a traditional spicy rye. A little sweet, a little pepper on the tip of the tongue. That's quite good. You know, I'm not a rye guy. I got like two ryes in my whole collection. But that's a pretty good rye. Yeah, I would own that. I would actually say that, that I would own that, if nothing else, to share with uh, uh, friends and colleagues that come over. So next up, we've got their... Uh, this is their... Rye finished in Sherry French Reserve Oak. Is that right? French Reserve Oak? Uh, Revere. Revere. I can't read. You know me, I can't read without my reading glasses. Cheers. Oh, I like that one. I'm a, I'm a fan of toasted and French oaks. Yeah, I think I like that one even better. That's a little sweeter. Got that toasted goodness going on. And what I really here for is to once again taste this double oak bourbon, which is pretty new, right? This is your newest? Yeah, it just came out. Just came out, so let's taste that. And this is what we're tasting today. I got a lot of glasses to throw away when I'm through. So, double oak bourbon, 108 proof. We know that's our sweet spot, isn't it? Cheers. Oh, that's rich, oaky. Get a lot of char there. Mmm. That competes with some of the best double oaks out there. I'm not kidding. That, that, that is really good. How long did it take to develop that? Because that's like the best pursuit I think I've ever tasted. If you ask Ron, it was it was a uh, it was one night sitting on the back porch. <laughs> one night sitting on the back porch. You hear that? Well, so uh, thank you for letting us uh, taste uh, your your wear here. Uh, if you're uh, um, if you ever get a chance to take a tasting with Pursuit United, they're at one of your local bottle shops. I recommend you go. We have to make a decision. We came here. We looked. 
we tasted. What am I going to go home with tonight? What actually floats my boat? Well, I'll tell you, it's this Pursuit United Double Oak Bourbon. You know, I tasted a while back, one of our channel members uh, lent us a bottle to do a uh, tasting of it. And it's absolutely great, and it's $69.99. A fabulous buy. So this is what's coming home with me tonight. So join us next time as we go on another bourbon hunt.